Hey, how's it going, guys? Today, we're going to be talking about how to purchase ICP, how to swap that from Coinbase to ICP swap, how to add Bob to your ICP swap that you can see Bob, and then how to transfer your ICP to the NNS after you swap your ICP to Bob. So to continue on with this, first, you need to go to Coinbase.com. You don't need to type all this in, just type Coinbase.com. And once you create your account and you set up your you know, KYC, you will have this screen pop up once you click on the spot. From here, you're going to want to search ICP, and you'll see that there's a bunch of buying options. Uh, sorry, I'm not feeling so good today, so my voice may be a little bit, I don't know, messed up. But I'm going to use ICP USD in this case. What you want to do is you want to transfer in cash. I recommend highly to, <coughs> I, I recommend to use PayPal. Everyone has like a thousand dollar limit from what I've seen and it's instant transfers. You have a thousand dollar limit every 24 hours and it's just the best way to dollar cost average in slash get a large amount in at a quick time, you know, with no fees. Or if you want to pay a little bit of fees and you have some crypto, you can do receive crypto, buy some Bitcoin on cash app per se, and just deposit it here. It takes like 30 minutes. Um, once you buy your ICP, make sure that you do limit and do post only and then post it slightly below the price of what ICP currently is. So if it's 12.94 right now, we would put it at 12.935 or something like that, because this alone is going to save you a pretty substantial amount on fees. So best to do post only and just put it slightly below the current price of ICP if you wanna buy it. You'll see here where it says filled 100%, blah, blah, blah. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna to wanna to go to transfer after, after, so we're going to make this simple. We're going to go to icpswap.com. This is where all the magic happens. Once you go here, you're going to see launch app 1.0. And from here, you're going to see this screen. So we're going to connect our wallet. And there's a bunch of different types of wallets you can use. We want to use internet identity. It's just the most secure one to use. So I'm going to log in with this one. As this is my test dummy account. So I can show you the step-by-step -step of how you can add Bob to your uh, ICP swap wallet. So we're going to go here, and then we're going to go to our wallet. Oh, it already uh, has Bob here for me. But you will not see this. But once you add Bob, I guess, to your ICP swap, no matter which internet identity you use, it'll still continue to be here. But to add Bob yourself, you are going to want to go to bob.fun. Once you load this in, you're going to want to copy this Bob ledger right here. This whole thing that's underlined, copy this, go to ICP swap. Once you are there, click the plus symbol located right here, and you'll see add tokens. Search name or canister ID. Don't just search for Bob, because there's a lot of different Bobs that are just trying to scam you. Uh, just put the canister ID. This guarantees that you're going to be uh, clicking on the correct Bob. So you'll see one token pop up. This is the Bob symbol. Click on that and you'll see it eventually load into your um, wallet. From here, we have our Bob now and we have our ICP. So we wanna get our ICP tokens from Coinbase to ICP swap. We go to the receive button. You'll see your address. You wanna copy this address, go to Coinbase, click on the transfer button up here, send crypto. You wanna make sure that you're sending ICP only to this address, but however much you bought, and then from the two recipients, you want to copy that, copy that address that you just got. Once you click on that, you want to send preview send, put in your two-factor authentication. If you put that in, just make sure everything's all good and do a test transaction of just $1 just to make sure that what you're sending is going to go to the correct address and there's no errors and you don't lose your funds. I've lost funds before doing this. It is the worst feeling ever. You can never get them back. It is gone in the wind. So make sure you just do a test transaction Go back to ICP swap. It literally takes 15 seconds, less than that to even arrive. And once you click the refresh button here or here, you'll see that your test transaction went through and it'll show in your balance. Once you can confirm that, send the rest over. Then from here, you're going to want to go to swap. You're going to see this on the base screen. And you're going to want to copy that same canister ID that we used to put the token in our wallet. You want to copy this. Go to ICP swap. Paste that here, and you'll see Bob to token pop up again. And it will take a second to load, maybe sometimes up to 30 seconds. So don't feel like it's, oh, lagging, or, oh my gosh, did it freeze out? 
it just takes a second to load. It's uh, you know, a lot of information it has to take down. So once that loads in, your ICP balance will show and it'll show you exactly how much Bob you will receive. I like to personally go up here and change my slippage tolerance to 0 0.05 just to ensure that when I'm transferring, I'm getting exactly what I want. Not just, I, I pad this at like 1%, 2% and it'll basically max out your slippage. So put this as low as you can. 0 0.05 seems to be the sweet spot for me. So once you do that, you will basically be able to swap your tokens. It'll show you a screen with four separate protocols where it says depositing ICP into swap pool. And then from there, converting it to Bob, removing the Bob from the swap pool and putting it in your wallet. If the transaction does not go through, just give it a second. You will see your ICP appear in the swap pool if the transaction does not go through. Either way, just refresh this, take a deep breath, and it's okay, your ICP will be back here, it's fine. And it might just take a second to load, but you can swap it right away. Instead of having to have it deposit into the swap pool, it'll already be in the swap pool. That's all it's saying because the transaction errored out. Once you have your Bob, you can go to your wallet here and you will see it appear here. Once that is good and you know that you have your Bob, we're gonna wanna go to the NNS app. So I'm going to log out of here. <clears throat> It is nns.ic0.app. So once you go to this, it'll say 100% on-chain governance. Sign in with internet identity. We're gonna use our test dummy internet identity that I just created. It takes two seconds. Just make sure you save your mnemonic phrases and keep them secret because that is very necessary for making sure that your wallet is safe. Once you sign in with your internet identity pin, I'm using a Windows computer. This is what works best. Try not to do this on a tablet. I've already had people telling me that they have problems with this. Do it on a Windows PC. I'm not sure if it works on Mac, but if you want to guarantee everything works, Windows is the way to go. So from here, you're going to want to click on tokens because you'll only see this main section. But once you click tokens, all of these other tokens will load up. We are going to go all the way to the bottom of this import token down here. It'll say ledger and index canister ID. Now, don't worry about the index canister ID. This is just a C transaction history, and I have no idea what that is for Bob. But for Bob specifically, we're gonna copy that Bob ledger once again, go back to your NNS, paste that in the ledger canister ID, click next. It'll tell you exactly, this is Bob, and perfect, you know, everything looks fine to me. We'll import that. And once that is imported, boom. Here's your new account. If you click on tokens again, you'll see your Bob imported token right here. Now you wanna click on receive Bob, which is gonna be the small little QR code button. This is the send button if you wanna send your Bob. So click here, click on your Bob address for your NNS, click on the finish button, go to ICP swap. And like I said before, do a tr test transaction, only send like $1 worth of Bob. Just remember there are 0 0.01 like Bob fee and that's fixed, it doesn't change. So once you paste that principal ID that you just copied from the NNS right here, you're gonna go to ICP swap, put the test transaction in and click send. It'll send in like two seconds. And literally once you have the time to even switch back to your NNS, refresh the screen, you will see your Bob token appear. Once you confirm that, you can send the rest over and boom, bada bing. Your Bob is now safe in the NNS and protected for no eyes to take and no one to, to pry into, and it's yours. And once you want to swap that out, if you say want to sell, you just click send, go to your ICP swap wallet, click receive, copy this address, go to NNS, destination, put the amount of Bob that you want to send over, and then click send. And once you confirm that it sends over to ICP swap and you refresh the screen over here, and it shows it in here, send the rest over, go back to swap, click on your Bob token again, just flip this over so it's converts your Bob to ICP because there's only one liquidity pool and that is Bob ICP. And once that's done, you have made your money. You have your ICP now, which you can always go back, send your ICP from here. And then if you need to receive your ICP to Coinbase again, you click transfer, Receive crypto, ICP was my recent one, but you'll just look it up yourself. Copy this address, go to ICP swap, 
paste that address that you just copied from Coinbase, put in a test transaction, and once that's confirmed, it should literally take 15 seconds for it to go through on Coinbase, and you'll see it in your Coinbase account. And from there, you can swap it back out to USD and deposit it into your bank account. And that's how you make cold, hard cash. I hope this helped, guys. If there's anything that I missed when it came to buying Bob, transferring to Bob, uh, just learning how to hold it, just let me know in the comments and I'll cover it in another video. Just anything that I missed, but wow, 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 wow. We are about to hit $2, and honestly, I want to keep this video going as a celebratory $2 hit. Come on. Come on, man, do it. <laughs> just pump, pump. <laughs> This is actually happening, guys. This is just the start. I, I just, oh man, I wish I would have bought more. But don't we all feel that way? Either way, enjoy the pump. Now that you know how to purchase your ICP and purchase your Bob and keep it safe and protected. Uh, just stay away from leverage trading and try to not talk about it too much because once you do, trust me, everyone's going to be all over you like a hawk. I've had that in the past with a lot when I used to make money off crypto and I lost it. But when I did have my money and I made it, I was getting hounded like a hawk, and all they did was want my money, basically. So don't say a word, keep it to yourself, and protect yourself. Have a great day, guys. Stay safe out there, and peace out.